What's up guys, Southeast Softwash, and uh, just want to make a quick video about these BE Whirl Away surface cleaners. <clears throat> we use a lot of these. I've got a pallet over there with a bunch of them. We use these on our builds. This is a really good kind of mid-level surface cleaner. Does a good job. We've been running them for going on three years. years. Yeah, the Mighty M is another good surface cleaner. We've got a big guy, uh, 28 inch over there on the car. But these are pretty good for the price point. They're under $400. Uh, but there is one major flaw. They've changed something on these and it's kind of a, a critical weakness. So let me show you on this one what they changed. I don't have an old one in the shop. We have an old one on the truck, uh, but sometime in the last few months, BE has made an improvement. They fixed one problem and they kind of caused another problem. Yeah. Used to, can you see this? Get to where you can see this right here. These two pieces, the handle and this piece were two different pieces. And it was always kind of kind of flimsy right here. So I like this, that this is one piece now. It's, you know, it's not flimsy, but the problem is, you see how that's got flex in it. These, they went from having two pretty good size rivets right here to three, and they're a little bit smaller. Mm -hmm. So what we do on our builds is we put a high pressure ball valve on all of our builds, and it's got a male end. So we have to put a female end right here. So you put a wrench on this, you turn the male end off, you put the female end on. You cannot hardly do this without breaking the rivets. Mm -hmm. So let me show you how we fix it. <clears throat> and once we fix it, it's fine, but I kind of wish we didn't have to fix that's something right. that's brand new. So something. come over here. Shouldn't be like that. Shouldn't be that. But it is. What can you do? What can you do? <laughs> so here's one that we have did our little mod on. What we've got here on both sides is three uh, sheet metal machine screws basically so we inevitably crack those rivets trying to i mean you can hold it as tight as you want to unless you put it in a vise or you're like mega careful those rivets just pop we now know they're going to pop the first one we were like what the crap is going on so mm -hmm. now what we do is we just break them dig them out with a pocket knife and then go back and put these three slightly larger diameter than the rivets uh sheet metal screws on both sides so now it's got six and now it's it's rock solid mm -hmm. like so, um, simple, fix. simple fix, takes about five minutes to do. Um, you may, even if you're not swapping it out, even if you're not changing this, you may want to just go ahead and do that from, from day one because it's probably going to break on you in the field. Once you do that, it's, uh, it's rock, rock solid. It's just like they fixed one thing and they messed up something else. One cheap on another route. I do like the surface cleaners, though. What do you? Oh, what I you, like them. They, uh, I mean, it was the only other thing we, you can change your tips out. Um, what comes standard, we bump them up with what, 025s? 025s, yeah. yeah. They come with 020s. Um, so they, they make this one with wheels. Yeah. Um, the Mighty wheels M, the Mighty M's, they're made at the same plant. So they're BE, they're just great. It's the yeah. same thing. We don't like nice. the wheels. They just, they're nice in some, like big areas. Yeah. But when you get in, you know, you're around steps or something like that. It, Get some um, sidewalks, the, yeah. the wheel will fall yeah, off fall the edge. Off. And you got it's just you know, some people like the wheels, we really don't I like the floating. Um, but anyway, good surface cleaners. These every again, you got to have no, you don't whisper wash, they're nice. There's one over there, but I don't know that they're worth double the money that than this. Sure, it's probably a really nice surface cleaner, it's probably got a better bearing in it. Um, that one's great. We got one. I'm not saying they're not nice, but these are fine. These are these are plenty for what most people need. But it's just you know it's like everything else. It's made at a plant. So some engineer, be, be engineer guy. Listen to me. Y'all gonna need to change them rivets out. Put your little couple little bolts through this. Something like go down to Ace. Y'all got an Ace. I'm sure hardware's run, gonna run you a couple run bolts. Some self tappers in there. Self tap. It'd be fine. I don't all know right. why they don't run a little skinny bolt all the way through. Just, just put just that fixes it. They could just put a bolt with a lock, a, yeah. uh, a nylon That's right. lock nut on the side. So, anyway, we're about to uh, do some training. We got guys sitting in the parking lot. If we tell them training starts at nine, they'll be here at uh, six o'clock, two a.m. <laughs> sitting in the parking lot. So uh, we're kind of in here hiding, waiting for the crowd. But anyway, hope you guys have a good Friday. Just a quick tip on the surface cleaners: if you get one of these and it's the new style. And if you break the handle, don't worry about it. You can fix it quicker than trying to send it back to BE. Just give, get you some uh, some screws and pop them in there. See you.